there you are. Hi, <laughs> Tuesday. How are you? I'm, I'm good. How are you doing? I was just That's great. I'm doing well. Had a okay. really fantastic weekend. How about yourself? Yes. Great weekend. Well, as you know, we're getting questions all the time. And today I wanted to give you this one. Uh, this one comes from Shelly. She's an acupuncturist. And she says, uh, how do I pay myself as a business owner? Mm, okay, yeah, that's always confusing. Um, it, it really depends on how your business is formed. So if you are, let's, let's start with the easiest first. If you formed a company as a corporation, a C-Corp, then you have to pay yourself on a payroll because you are an, an employee of the corporation. If you formed an S-Corp, same thing. You pay yourself as an employee of the company and you're required to pay yourself a reasonable salary before you take any other type of distribution from the business, okay? So in both cases, you're an employee. If you are a sole proprietor, then you have to take your what's called the owner's draw. And this is you literally drawing money out of the business, but you want to do it in a systematic way. So for instance, if you starting out, if you can only afford to pay yourself $500 a month, um, then you want to move a whole $500 out into your personal account. You want to draw it out, you know, and, and hopefully a whole number and periodically. Let's say you can't do that once a month with the way the money comes in. You can't wait. It could be $250 every two weeks or $125 every week. So you want to, you just want to move in sequence however amount you're going to pay yourself. And this is just to keep, you know, very organized and, and manage your cash flow well. But you do have to take it as an owner's drawer. You would not put yourself on a payroll, meaning a payroll system where taxes are being withheld and whatnot. Now, when it comes to LLCs, which a lot of people are, it depends on how your LLC is classified, right? Because some are single member, so they're treated like sole proprietors, so they're going to take an owner's drawer. But some LLCs have more, have more than one member, so they, they're technically a partnership. So those partnerships might take a drawer. Um, from the business as well. Or if you're LLC and you requested to be treated as a corporation, then you got to put yourself on payroll. You know, so it really depends on how, how the business is formed. But you, the, the, the bigger idea is to do it systematically, do it periodically, you know, on a, on a cycle, uh, do, try to do whole numbers, and move it into your personal account. Don't just spend on personal things from the business account. That's awesome. So some definite don't do's is pulling out because you need to go get groceries, paying yourself from the business, transferring on a whim, right? So right. you want to try not to do that. You, you have the right to do that because you're the business owner. But if you really want to be, you know, a savvy business owner and do things in, a, in an organized manner. So you, it's very clear, you know, what you're, what you're drawing out of the business, um, then yes, to your point. Even though, this is where it gets tricky, even though whether you take money out or not, whatever that net profit is, whatever is left over, um, it's, it's going to be, uh, you're going to pay taxes on it anyway. <laughs> but <Yeah. laughs> I said all of that, but yeah, this is how you pay yourself. Well, I appreciate it. I think that will help Shelly and a lot of business owners. So thanks for your time. I'll talk to you later. All right. See you all later. Right. Thanks. All right. Bye. If you have a question, put it in the comments below.